sun has just gone down in Mumbai. And tonight, we're on a mission to discover the unique foods we can find at 9 p.m., at midnight, and all the way up to 3 a.m. In a race against the clock, we're on a countdown to devour five gut-busting dishes while the city sleeps. And by the end of this video, you will see a street food that's exclusively reserved for late-night diners. But first, let's kick off our nocturnal adventure with a late dinner and mystery eatery. Our journey into the wee hours kicks off at 9 p.m. This is when the city comes alive. This food spot serves up a jaw-dropping pizza dish with a side of overstimulation. This is just not a meal place, it's an experience. We have projector room, we have VR gaming, we have an outside cozy sitting area. We have Alexa to play all your playlists when you're partying around. You can brew your own coffee, you can make your own waffles. Aside from the diverse entertainment, they've got Indian food infused with flavors from all around the globe. So far, we have reached to Korean, Mexican, and Italian. Okay, well, maybe just some of the globe, but today we're here for something special. <laughs> Introducing the Double Decker Pizza. This pizza goes by another name that just might get this video demonetized. When we served it to our guests, they came up with this amazing creativity and we named it 69 after our guests recommended it to us. Begin by melting butter in a pan because everything that's good starts with butter. Add onions, carrots, and my personal vegetable hero, cucumber. Now unleash the chaos with pizza sauce, barbecue sauce, and chopped parsley for that Italian finesse. <laughs> Grab two pre-made pizza pies, because while we're at it, why not offend Italy a bit? Mamma mia, what have they done to my pizza? <laughs> now slather on the pizza sauce, followed by our sautéed veggie mixture. Next, fry four onion rings and break them apart on top of the pizza. <laughs> followed by a downright indecent amount of cheese. Wait a minute. Cap it off with the other pizza bread. Finally, toss the double-decker pizza into the panini press for five minutes. Italians might raise an eyebrow at this pizza creation, but here in Mumbai, locals are absolutely wild about it. It takes a classic recipe from distant lands and reimagines it, showcasing the whimsy of the city's bad food scientists who prioritize flavor over conformity. The time is now 11 p.m. and we're venturing to a food spot where the unconventional meets generosity. Brace yourself for a dish that not only surprises your taste buds, but also lets you decide how much to pay. That's right, at this restaurant, you grab a plate and pay however much you want. I got this inspiration from Singapore. Me and my friends visited one restaurant. They had a concept of pay as you wish where they serve South Indian thalis. It's a healthier choice and light choice because it's made from fresh vegetables and usually people prefer light food at dinner time. Meet American Chop Suey, a culinary rebellion straight from the vibrant streets of Mumbai. Crafted by the ingenious Chef Drew, this dish defies expectations, offering an Indian twist on the Chinese-American classic. These crispy egg noodles are taking a plunge into hot oil, setting the stage for an explosion of flavors. Deep-fried cauliflower, button mushrooms, baby corn, onions, tomatoes, green bell peppers, and spring onions. Once they're soft, set them to the side. Now for the sauce. Season the oil with chopped garlic and ginger. Then add water, ketchup, red chili sauce, white pepper, black pepper, seasoning powder, chopped green chilies, and that oh-so-delicious Szechuan sauce. The veggies make a triumphant return, soaking up every drop of our spicy elixir. Finally, pour everything together over our fried egg noodles and serve. Behold a delicious alternative to those bedside melatonin capsules, ensuring a sweet yet satisfying food coma. The oily fried egg noodles act as a crunchy sponge for the sweet and spicy sauce, while the fried vegetables offer a comforting bite. Much like other noodle dishes, devouring it swiftly is recommended, but rest assured it's totally savor-worthy. It is now midnight in Mumbai, and here's the thing, we still have a solid three hours to complete our mission. Luckily for us, there are still plenty of foods to explore, and our next destination, the Egg Station, is cracking the egg game wide open. These experts boast 58 egg-centric dishes, all on their menu. Meanwhile, I can barely make an omelet. God damn these eggs. Today, we're here for their fiery Hyderabadi Egg Tikka, a spicy semi-gravy dish that originated in, uh, you guessed it, Hyderabad, a city known for some of the spiciest dishes in India. 
Start by adding chopped red onions, tomatoes, and scallions to a flat top. Top it with green masala paste, salt, chili, and a few scoops of ghee. Combine everything using karachi spatulas before mashing it with a hand masher. Once you get the smooth paste texture, mix in chopped boiled eggs and a few scoops of pollock paste, also known as spinach. Mix it well and add a bit more water, ghee, and a sprinkle of fresh coriander. <laughs> These spicy eggs are the perfect midnight awakening. Boiled to perfection, they're resurrected with a potent blend of intense peppers and the invinegrating touch of spinach paste. Now, the true test of our overnight adventure unfolds. Because in Mumbai, the legal sale of food is limited to midnight. Right now, it's 1.30 a.m. The streets are getting quiet, but we've found ourselves at a street food stall willing to take the ultimate risk. These guys specialize in the most consumed late-night food in all of Mumbai, the masala pav, found outside every single train station in the city. So we were serving normal pav bhaji since 2016, and we were not satisfied with the taste of pav bhaji we were serving because of the unusual masalas available in the market. So since so many years, like we started reinventing the pav bhaji, and finally we came up with the our own in-house made masalas okay, which was procured from Kerala and we have invented more than 15 varieties of pong bhaji which is loved by like everyone to make this daring dish start by melting butter on a hot tawa and add chopped onions green bell peppers tomatoes salt coriander powder red chili powder red chili chutney and water let the flavors blend together in our cooking vessel for two to three minutes then add even more butter we're ordering food at 1 30 a.m so clearly we don't care about the calories next chop up a pop bread into small cubes to soak up all those savory flavors finally add chopped fresh coriander mix and serve Masala pav is like an Indian twist on savory French toast. Bursting with powerful spices, the pav doesn't just soak up sauces, it transforms into a soft, flavorful delight with every bite. Finally, the clock has struck 3 a.m., a time I haven't seen since my 20s. And uh, let's not do the math on how long ago that was, okay? The question is, can you actually find food to eat at 3 a.m.? And the second question is, if you do find it, will it be any good? Well, let's talk about our final destination, a nocturnal food cart with a four-decade legacy, specializing in serving the ultimate comfort food in Mumbai, vegetarian pulao. So is it worth the sleep deprivation? Let's find out. Get your tawa hot and ready. Then add a generous dollop of butter. Sprinkle in chopped red onions and green bell peppers for that flavor base. Then tomatoes, potatoes, green peas, and fresh coriander. Season with salt, chopped masala, and chili chutney. Let the flavor stands together before an encore of more butter to elevate the base. Now enter the star of the show, the cooked rice, complete with more fresh coriander, salt, and a squeeze of lemon. Give it a final mix, then serve with butter and fresh coriander on top. If you're ever peer pressured into staying up until the ungodly hour of 3 a.m., well, this dish might be your savory salvation. Fragrant rice steeped in the familiar embrace of Indian spices and buttery goodness. Every bite is like a dream, prompting you to get seconds or maybe even thirds. After all, at this time of day, we're practically eating breakfast. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully survived a whole night of eating five incredible dishes in Mumbai without falling asleep on a random park bench. But now I gotta know, which late night dish resonated with you the most? Was it the two-faced double-decker pizza, the pay-as-you-wish chop suey, the egg-filled hydrobody tikka, the infamous masala pav, or the time-tested veg pulao? For me, I'll throw my hat into the ring for the Hyderabadi tikka on any night of the week. Those spicy eggs and that rich spinachy sauce was no joke. Now I have a new egg dish to add to my arsenal. So how about you? Which one of these would you try? Let us know your favorite downstairs in the comments below. And for more indulgent feasts for your senses, be sure to subscribe to Best Ever Food India. Thanks. Bye. Elevate your style with our brand new clothing collection. Rock out in our threads, feel the thrill of culinary adventures, and celebrate with us in style. Head on over to beffers.shop today.